therapy for 15 years. And she also owns and operates Healing Touch Therapies, which is mainly for massages and Reiki treatments. But that she's been doing for at least 10 years now, which is why we chose to focus on the retreat house, because it needs the most help since it's brand new. Um, the retreat house offers a variety of services, including a bed and breakfast, traditional massages, movement education, stress-reducing massages, vibrational therapy, and acupuncture therapy. Daria is the only employee of the Retreat House Bed and Breakfast and Holistic Center. She manages the email and phone services while also dealing with booking reservations, and then she's also in charge of dealing with things like cleaning and landscaping and all the general upkeep of the business and the property. Um, she's the only massage therapist. She also produces a monthly newsletter, the Peaceful Times newsletter, which she does this mostly because she loves writing, and then a lot of her like friends and clients like reading it. And she's also written, she's an author of eight books now, so she does a lot. And then she operates the website for the Treat House Bed and Breakfast and Holistic Center, which is basically just an informational website that can answer most prospective customer questions and give them a good idea on what to expect. Um, the current information technology in the retreat house, um, as far as the hardware and software goes, um, all of the business's operations are managed through a single laptop, just start a single laptop. Um, she utilizes the web services MailChimp and webs.com in order to contact customers. That's how she sends the monthly newsletter, uh, the Peaceful Times out to her customers, and through the webs.com she's able to manage and build onto her business website. Um, the database communications and operating systems, um, aside from that, client emails, um, all of the client information is stored on paper files, and uh, the internet and extranets, um, they're not used by the business just because of the size of it, and it only has a single employee. Um, the security, both MailChimp and webs.com offer a degree of security that's safe for the customer, so they're, they're gonna, they're, they can uh, count on it and align it to uh, keep their information safe and secure. And uh, aside from that security, that's the only type of security offered for the, uh, from the retreat. Um, there's no decision support systems in use at this time, and all of the uh, information is centralized just because of it having a single uh, laptop. Um, the supply chain management, mostly all the products for the retreat come from either the Home Depot, Lowe's, grocery stores, just local grocery stores, or uh, Timeless Teachings. And uh, Timeless Teachings offers like, um, specialty like soaps and oils for the retreat house. Um, and uh, Daria either has, she personally picks them up and transports them to the business and company or has them delivered through FedEx. And uh, once she's in house and she can distribute them to the customers. Okay. This is a very small business with very limited IT resources, obviously. And um, it doesn't have very many systems in use. But further expansion and implementation of some key IT operations um, would benefit the business like greatly as um, they were talking about the peaceful times newsletter it has 260 subscribers so that's kind of a lot for one person to manage so like getting information to them is important because they're interested in what she has to say and hearing any updates that she has um it's there's she has no it background herself so any information that we can provide with her she was more than happy to like take in uh, we identified several area, IT areas where improvements could be made. One, the website, when we first saw the website, it was pretty bland. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, add to her existing hardware and software, which will only help her like get more organized, make her job a little bit easier since she's taking on so many of the responsibilities. Um, add an electronic client database and decision support systems, which will further help with organization and maybe help the business become more profitable. Um, as expansion continues, she might want to consider the use of an extranet and then keep in mind future changes and the impact of those changes. All these suggestions are going to be uh, um, discussed in further detail and it will only help her grow her business even more. Okay, well, we, the first thing that we looked into to improve the company was like to improve the website. So we're going to take a look at the website here and also uh, the virtual tour for the company. That's one thing that we thought of. So this is how the website looks like. Yeah. It's like, has like, uh, 
this is where it's located, it has like information, a quick intro, more like the services it offers, the phone number. Uh, if you go down, it shows like all the different rooms. But if you go here on the side, it shows like uh, history, directions, area restaurants, all the things that are including next to the spa and everything. But we thought of like, what if you include a virtual tour in it? Because like, it's kind of 2011 thing. Everybody does it to improve their company. So I looked into it and I found this website. And we're, I'm gonna take you on a virtual tour of a house. I know it's not a spa and retreat, but like it's the same idea. So this the website is called Tour Factory Virtual Tours. And the cost of this, it would be like $20 for a virtual tour and you can post it on your website. And once they click it, they take it to this website and we're gonna look at an example here which one do you guys want <laughs> the six million house million or the 695 six million, no, six six million? million. okay wow. so as you click on it it takes you to this website it's gonna charge here in a second and it's pretty much it's not a virtual tour like all 3D did on computer. It's pretty much an advanced PowerPoint. Oh, let's pause this for a second. It's like an advanced PowerPoint. You can, there are two options. You can take your own pictures and upload it or they can send a professional to your house and upload it. But once I looked into the, if they can send a professional, they didn't really have anybody in this area. But I think, same thing, if you have a good camera, you can take pretty decent pictures of yourself. So, as you can see here, the PowerPoint, the page is like, it's very, goes in detail. Pretty much up here it says the name of the company, wherever it is, how much it costs, which is not really interests us right now. But up here it can tell us like the address, where it's located. And pretty much up here is like a, electronic business card, that's where I put it. Like Nowadays everything is electronic, iPads, iPhones, so it's like very easy to send information. Up here you can put Daria's picture with her contact, and also it's very easy to share online. As you can see up here is like share, Google+, Plus, the new thing nowadays, Facebook, Twitter, and email, Reddit, sweet. Blogger, so you can easily like share this link to the rest of the world so or you can put on your Facebook page and that the business will like get so much more popular here on the right side on the left side it has property info it's like it's very nice that like it's so easy to use it has printable materials like actual hard copy flyers if you want to print it out and send it to the other people uh, property map where you where it's located calculator I don't know what that is for up there but probably you can put some prices in and also you can go right through this to the pictures if you want to see like just a specific area so I'm just gonna click on the video and watch it for a little bit as you can see up here in the right corner it has view captions what I was thinking, like as as the PowerPoint and video goes through, like Daria can like uh, can say what the treatment is and how much it costs. Like, well, in this room we do massages. We offer this kind of massages, you know. So it's like really into detail. So I think it's pretty nice for the viewer. Like, looks at images and also has the description there on the side. Nice house, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the music lets <was> <laughs> Yeah, it's, really, it's also really relaxing for a spot, right? So, but obviously you can put your own music, whatever. So that's pretty much it. And if you want to just go through the specific pictures that you want, for example, up there it says living to upper bedroom. So probably you can say massage room. You just click on it and there are all these different pictures of like treatments, 
and that was our idea on the uh, now on the website we also thought of uh, how to improve it even more and we thought of online shopping allowing customer to purchase products from the company uh, this is like already in works you can do it but like you can only do some certain things and buy some certain things so we thought of like also direct and sell her books on the online and also some of the products she uses during the spas and the next thing that we thought of like Daria for now only uses one laptop and we thought that hardware is like pretty important for saving database so we thought of we recommended that an additional computer or desktop be purchased to stay at the office at all the time. Having a desktop gives you better memory, like minimum is like 250 gigabytes for now. And more importantly, that she has an external hard drive to be purchased. Uh, if she is to purchase a, a Mac, she can use the program Time Machine to back up all her da data. And like, she can buy a terabyte of hard, external hard drive, which is like, couple hundred dollars it's not even that much anymore and the uh, software purchase that we thought of like Microsoft Office especially Excel and Access just to put all her customer ID just to put it in the programs to save it for later backup next we thought of database model okay this was actually one of our biggest recommendations for the business um, was to create and implement an electronic database Currently, the operations are all um, with the paper file and a little a little electronic with Mailchimp. Uh, basically, Mailchimp is an online emailing service that Daria uses to send out the Peaceful Times newsletter to her subscribers. Um, what you can do on Mailchimp, there's a lot of interesting features, but right now, mainly, it's utilized for its emailing lists. Um, she can generate the list of 260 subscribers and send it out to them. Um, as the business grows, you have to purchase um, upgrades for your subscriber base. Right now, she's at the most basic level. I think it's $10 a month, and she can send an unlimited number of emails to up to 500 subscribers. So to help improve that process, uh, we propose the creation of a database that will be maintained in-house and through the hardware that Daria currently maintains and within the office that we recommended she uh, purchase in the future. Um, you can stay there. So right now, um, our database has three major layers. Um, as you can see, the, the spa and room service kind of are one layer, two entities. Um, okay, so we'll start at the top. Customer detail. Each customer will be assigned a primary key, and their contact information will be listed, and also order information will be listed. Um, so you can step that down one to order detail. Each order is going to be assigned a primary key, and it will also relay just the very basic information of that order. Um, the total price, the date it was placed, and that primary key, which if you track that primary key into the order description layer, you can view, view the specifics of each order, um, additional charges that may have incurred. Let's say you have a guest who maybe has a damage fee or a cancellation fee because that's something that's mentioned on the website in quite a few places. If something's canceled, you have to pay uh, X amount of dollars. So additional charges um, in the actual service purchase and those will each be assigned a key. So you have your room service and your spa service. Now the rooms are currently three rooms, so you can keep it as easy as one, two, three. Um, the Liberty Room, the Morgan Room, and the Butterfly Room are the three options that you can have. So each of those will be assigned a key and a price that you can track into the room service. And the spa service, there's really a lot more options because um, she offers a big variety of things that you can get if you're visiting the spa. So each one of those will also be assigned a primary key. Okay, uh, here's just a short cutout of the first two layers. These are just examples of how it would appear in uh, Microsoft Access. So you have your customer database and the basic order um, detail line. So as you can see, the customer ID is the number 13, which traces down into the order database. Um, you can view the information for the customer on the top layer. And as you go down, you can see the customer ID is tracked, and then it shows up with the order ID. If you were to see one level further, it would go to the order description database and you would see the order ID along with the room, room or spa ID and the total charge or additional charges that um, are incurred. Okay, um, another big recommendation was the implementation of the scissor support systems. Right now, 
Um, they're currently non-existent, and the software is also not being used. So Microsoft Excel, the first thing we recommend purchasing, so you're allowed, you're able to do these. Um, Obviously, sensitivity analysis would be useful if you're viewing suppliers, but I'd focus a little bit more on the goal seek application just to kind of show a basic calculation of how Daria can view profit margins and see what variables could be manipulated, maybe increase the profitability of a company. So here's a really basic example. Um, as you can see, there are three variables, the rate, the cost of room supplies, and the cost of food. And these are hypothetical values aside from the rate. Um, the cost of supplies are approximations, and it's also, if you're looking at this to know if maybe you're going to make a decision off it, that you're also going to have to include wages at some point or administrative fees um, for you know, in including these in a database or billing purposes. So the top layer, uh, the top table, you can see this is just a, before the goal seek is performed. So let's say you have a rate of $100 and the cost of room supplies and food accumulate to uh, $45. So your revenue is going to be 55, which is a 55% profit margin. So let's say Dari wants to increase that to 60. Um, you can plug it into the goal seat and the results are shown below. Now for this table, I just chose to uh, <coughs> manipulate the rate of the room. So if Dari wants to achieve a 60% profit margin, she would have to increase the rate of the room by $12.35. However, that's not the only way she could do it. Um, there are a couple more examples that are in the full report where let's say she wanted to view the cost of supplies for maybe a different supplier as a way to increase the profit margin, she can also target those, or she can even cost the, target the cost of food. Um, you know, maybe she wants to go to Mark's instead of Giant Eagle where everything's cheaper, so she can increase the profit margin that way as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, as a business, success expands with order something, put in your payment information, each time you do it. Um, the online shopping isn't exactly open to customers at this point, it's just something that she's, like, it's there, but it's not in use. Um, customers that purchase pro uh, products from the website can create online profiles that store their information, making future pur purchases quicker, such as, like, Amazon has now, like, basically every major website that you can purchase anything online currently has. Customers that receive the monthly publication will also be able to create a profile so that if any of their contact information were to change, they can update it so they can continue to receive her newsletter. So like if they change their email or something like that, they can quickly update it. And also, um, if she chooses to send out any promotional things, um, it's a way to stay con in contact with her clients. Um, if she chooses to um, store her billing information in her office, then she should also consider additional security features because right now she's using PayPal, so she really is, isn't concerned with too many in-house security features. And she needs to consider the um, impact of the online store. Um, as you saw in the supply chain management, it's pretty simple at this point. Like, it's pretty much just her. So if um, she does the online store. She also has to consider the impact of additional shipping charges and additional shipping like providers. So that could also impact that. And it could also change like um, in-store foot traffic and profits of her business. Um, so it will cause increased sales, but will cause the drastic change to the current supply chain management system. Um, the business potential of the retreat house bed and breakfast and holistic center is very evident, but it's very new, so she does need a lot of help, and we were there to help her. Um, but the, and there's a lot of room for improvement in her IT department, maybe like some marketing strategies. Um, she was more than welcoming to her suggestions. When we first started the project, the website was completely white, and it was very boring looking, and like um, when Erica told Daria that we didn't like the website at all, she changed the background and made it a little more aesthetically pleasing. So that was already one change that she implemented and she was very like welcoming to all of them. Um, and then we feel that imp implementing the suggested changes will not only increase the capacity to serve existing customers, but also increase its ability to capture and um, retain new customers. Most of her business is through word of mouth and suggestions from like existing customers. So if she gets her name out there more um, through the use of the website and then like just getting more organized and everything, it'll make everything run a lot smoother and easier to like retain and earn more customers. And then um, do, you guys, do you guys have any questions? How, how big is 
is her customer base? Well, she has 260 subscribers to her newsletter, so those were probably customers at some point, um, like existing, continuing like, customers, probably as well as smaller, because she can only take on so many, which is why it's important that she consider all of these options, because like if somebody were to cancel 